Hello folks, my name is Andre and today we're going to do the Async Collect Infusion. To make this we're going to use the old 8 and 2 formula and we're going to get the sine and cosine of the angle and we're going to multiply it for speed. That way we're going to move in constant speed. Sine is going to give us the amount of pixels for the y coordinate, cosine is going to give us the amount of pixels for the x coordinate. Like you can see I have here three objects, my player, my mouse and my target. I'm going to give to the player three alterable values, an X and Y and an angle. So let's jump to the event editor. On the event editor, like you can see, I'm always setting my mouse active to the X and Y of the mouse and I'm always setting the angle to the angle between the two objects with our old 8 on 2 formula, player and target. This is very important. On each mouse click, I'm destroying all the old targets and making a new one. And I'm making sure that if the player overlaps the target, it destroys it. So let's make our player move to the target. So I'm putting a condition if the number of the target is greater than zero. And I'm going to set the x variable to itself plus cosine of the angle for speed. I'm doing the same with the y variable, but this time I'm subtracting the sine of the angle. I'm going to set the x coordinate to the x variable and the y coordinate to the y variable. And let's see if it works. It's working but it starts from the corner of the frame and our player doesn't rotate and we have no animation at all. Now let's fix this. I'm going to set the angle of the player to the angle variable. If you want smooth rotation just watch the other tutorial. I'm going to change the animation to walk when it's moving and I'm going to change the animation to stop when there is no target on the stage. And to fix the starting position I'm going to add the starter frame event and set the x and y variable to the x and y position. Let's see if it works. Okay it's working you're done. Like and subscribe!